Are you looking to outclass the rest of the field when it comes to chicken wing supremacy? With this recipe, you are gonna be the king of your chicken wing castle. Everybody loves chicken wings, right? And they're super, super easy to do and you can season them any way that you want to. Now, when I'm deep frying wings and then seasoning them as we're gonna be doing today, I do not disconnect the middle piece from the drumming. And the reason is it allows me to keep the wing in the fryer longer to get crispier. And I also happen to love what happens with this beautiful piece of fat. That's one of the most flavorful bites on the wing at that point. So all I want to do is lay my wings down. You can actually see that little knuckle right there and you just cut right between it. We've butchered our wings. We have our oil. You can fry wings between 350 and 375. I have about a pound and a half of cold wings from the refrigerator that are about to go into hot oil. So I usually start out at about 385 or something because the temperature is going to drop almost instantaneously. And in they go. You see all that foaming and bubbling, all that surface boil there. If you wait until it goes completely still, your wings are gonna be overcooked. But you'll notice over the course of the next five, seven, eight minutes that these cook, that that bubbling decreases. While those are cooking, let's talk about how we're gonna season them. One of the things I love is seasoning fried wings with butter and dry rub. And there are so many out there on the marketplace. I mean, I selected five flavors. I could have selected 20. I'm gonna make two different batches here. Uh, let's do one with the complete seasoning. Now this is a saison that has bay leaf, peppercorn, garlic, onion, a little bit of nutmeg. I'm gonna use the saison tropical with a little bit of chili powder so we have one that's a little spicier. Let's see how these are doing. Wings have one tricky element to them, which is that the edges are gonna get brown and hard before the skin is as crispy as we like it to be, and they're cooked all the way through to the degree of tenderness that we want with all that connective tissue. You wanna pull them out right when that skin is nice and mahogany. You can hear this oil getting quieter as the liquid evaporates, and now it really has changed that beautiful nut brown all over the wing. Five in each. And then that secret ingredient to help things adhere, about a tablespoon of melted butter. Now we can move forward and plate our wings. Always fun to do two different flavors. You wanna take another little bit of our dry seasoning, grab a couple pinches and just sprinkle over the top. Last but not least, throw a tablespoon into some sour cream, add a little drizzle of nice red wine vinegar. Go ahead and put that out of your friends and family, whether it's for a weekend snack, mealtime, or in front of the TV while the big game is going on and you too will have chicken wing dominance over all others in your neighborhood.